brisk this morning. Oh, it is, yeah. Good looking dog. Eh. <laughs> hey. Hello and welcome to my channel. Hope you're all feeling strong and well. Now, in this vlog, we are taking a walk up to Beacon Hill. Beacon Hill, whereabouts is that? Good question. We are above Halifax and I'm actually on my way to uh, meet my lass at Shibden Park, home of Anne Lister. But that's not what this vlog is about. It's an amazing view out over Halifax. It really is. And it's one of them clear days, freezing cold. <laughs> With the wind, I think it's, it could be about two degrees up here. Uh, so it's really cold. I'm looking forward to coffee when I get to Shibden Park. But uh, it's a really clear day. I can see for miles. And I've wanted to come up here for a long time. I'm gonna tell you why. So I got up here a lot quicker than I thought, up to Beacon Hill, there is the beacon. And uh, while I'm here, I just want to take this opportunity to thank you for the comments on my previous vlog. You seem to really like it, the relaxing one. It was the one that I wasn't even in and didn't even talk in. Mm. Yeah, there's something wrong with that. <laughs> So this route that I'm taking today is actually a medieval route and it's been used by many wool traders with pack horses coming past here and it was even used by the troops in the uh, English Civil War. But as I said, I have wanted to visit Beacon Hill for quite some time just to get a feel of the place because it does actually have a dark past. Oh, my fingers are freezing. Uh, so yes, it does have a dark past. People were actually hung in chains up here. It was also known as gibbeting. Now, I'm not trying to say that you've never heard of this. I have heard of it before, but uh, it's worth just taking a moment. I wanted to get a feel of the place and really think about the uh, barbaric punishment that, uh, that went on up here, right here on, on Beacon Hill. So for those that are interested or don't know, gibbeting was the uh, locking up of criminals in human shaped cages, metal cages, and putting them on display, such as on Beacon Hill here, right above Halifax. This can be seen by the whole town, and sometimes there's more than one uh, body along here, uh, rotting away. And the gibbet actually refers to the structure, which would have been made wood, would have been made of wood, but this is a, a replica made of metal. So yes, it would have been made of wood, and it would have stood right here on Beacon Hill as a deterrent for any criminals. Uh, this is what would happen to you. A lot of woods in that bit, a lot of woods. Beautiful day today. I'm gonna to make my way hastily towards Shibden Park because it is cold up here. I'm gonna to continue to have a chat with you on my way down there. Just got over three quarters of a mile to go. Now, most of the criminals were executed before they were gibbeted, uh, but there were some cases where they were actually still alive in the cages and they were put up there uh, to uh, starve or die of uh, exposure, and then their bodies would rot. Now, of course, such a gruesome punishment did originate back in medieval times, but it was really popular here in the UK in the 1740s, around about that time. Really popular form of punishment. We've got the sunshine behind me, so you can't quite see my old face. Hurrah! <laughs> Now, gibbeting, where were we? Yes, it was always male bodies that were gibbeted. Uh, female bodies were actually in high demand by surgeons and autonomists. So uh, women criminals were, their bodies were just dissected. It seems really crazy to me that uh, this was actually going on in the 1740s. It really isn't that long ago. But according to what I've read, it was actually quite a spectacle, the gibbeted bodies. Uh, they drew quite a crowd, some kind of uh, macabre fascination with this. So uh, yeah, it was quite popular. Now, apparently the stench was unbelievable. 
And like I say, sometimes there's more than one body. And they were left there to rot for years, basically until the clothes rotted off the corpse. Now imagine people that lived nearby a gibbet. They had to put up with the eeriness of it rotting away for years and swinging and creaking in the wind. Uh, because they were uh, put near where people could see. And uh, we all know of a gibbet street, I'm sure I know of a gibbet street. There's a gibbet street in Halifax, uh, might go there one time. So if you live on a gibbet street or have lived on a gibbet street, you can rest assured that that led to a gibbet at some point in the past. And if you've got any stories about that, do put that in the uh, comments section below. And so it seems that gibbeting was basically punishing the criminal in life and in death. And I suppose the hope was that uh, any would-be criminals seeing this would think, well, it's just not worth it. So that's actually Shibden Park through there. <laughs> I thought I was gonna get under the road, this little old subway, <laughs> but uh, as you can see, it's locked. So I'm gonna have to go back. Now, if you follow my channel, I thank you. You might remember my uh, Cragvale Coiners vlog, and uh, that is going to be made into a film now, the whole uh, saga of the Cragvale Coiners. That's coming up in 2022, BBC drama. But um, that was one of the reasons that I was sort of attracted a couple of years ago to, uh, to Beacon Hill, because two of the uh, coiners were actually... Uh, gibbeted up there for eight years the bodies stayed up there swinging in the wind and rotting they were actually hung at york and the bodies transported in chains to beacon hill where they were exhibited in front of the whole town of halifax uh, for all to see what happens when you uh, break the law okay so that's it for this one this is the actual home of Anne Lister. Gonna have a look around there. So I made it to Shibden Park and we're gonna meet up with the grandkids and my lass and have a coffee. It's been a bit of a cold one up there on Beacon Hill. Hope you've enjoyed the vlog. A grisly one, I do hope you've enjoyed it. And I hope you're gonna join me in the next one. I don't know where I'm gonna be in the next one, but I know I want you guys with me. If you've got any comments on the subject of gibbeting, if you lived on a gibbet street, put the comments in the comments section below. I read all the comments. So until the next one, bye.